Hi, my name is Philip Tristan and in this video I want to talk about how to get a boy to love you and how to get him to love you by showing your strong character. A crucial element of getting somebody to love you is the ability to say no assertively. Assertive communication happens when you are not afraid to express your feelings, desires and thoughts. You don't always have to agree to all requests and suggestions made by other people. I know how hard it is to refuse when someone asks you a big favor and when you're doing the favor is inconvenient for you. We care too much about what other people think of us. We fear that if we refuse help or a favor, they will stop liking us. Of course, the ability to say no is only part of assertiveness training. Courses of this kind are very popular now, which shows how hard it is for people to behave assertively. Assertiveness is also the ability to say good things about yourself or to take criticism and negative evaluations from others. Learning to say no can become the first step to reaching your inner power. This exercise that I want to propose is very simple. I want you to practice it every day. When your partner, and if you don't have a partner at this moment, it can be your friend or a colleague from work, proposes something that you would like to do Say no. For example, him. Honey, can we watch that movie that my friend lent me now? You. No, I'm doing something else at the moment, but I'll be happy to watch it with you in the evening. Do you understand how and why it works? As you can see, this exercise is not really about refusing. It's about enforcing your opinion. When you say no to his small request, you establish yourself as a person that he has to reckon with and consult. When you often use no as a postponement method, he will start considering your opinion. He will know that if he wants to do something together with you, he must first ask if you agree. At the subliminal level of communication, you become the decision maker in this relationship, while at the same time giving him a sense of power, the feeling that you reckon with his proposals. So don't be afraid to say no from time to time. Remember, however, to make the impact of the word as strong as possible, you have to reward him for his suggestion. Don't refuse him, say no, not now, and reward him for his proposal. But I will be happy to watch it later when I'm done. Use this exercise even if you don't have a reason to refuse. You'll see how quickly he will start respecting you and your opinions and your shared experiences will become more valuable to him. If you want a boy or a man to love you more, that's one of the secrets. But of course, don't overdo it and use this trick once every four or five propositions from him. You will create a balance of power in your relationship and it doesn't matter if you've just met or you've been dating for some time. So show your strong character thanks to the power of the word no. Thanks for watching my video and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Why? Because I have more cool videos like this coming out. All you have to do is to click on the subscribe button below. So do it now. And I'm also curious about your opinion. Please rate and comment this video. Did you find it useful? Do you agree or disagree? Or maybe you have your own opinion on this subject. And if you want to know more about how to get a boy to love you and learn the secret most women will never know about attracting men, seducing them, approaching them, you can go to this uh, free presentation. I hope it's going to be still online. And if you want to join, go to this web page address you can see on the screen right now. It's also in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you.